Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here in Avora Autism for the continuation of this blind let's play of The Legend of Dragoon. So, last time we set foot upon the ghost ship and we were trying to figure out some of the puzzles that are attributed to it. However, we couldn't figure them out and it required the use of a video review. But now having said Having seen said video review and being satisfied with what it has to offer, we can now move on. Hopefully we can... Okay, yes, so we can get back, get back on just like that. Alright. So, now, following the video review, after seeing that scene with the two um, ghostly members of the ship, who one stood up, up here, one stood down here, we can now move back down, and we can now actually start to access the locked door. The locked door that I was not able to get access to before. But first, the fight. Alright, get in the door quickly. And we'll move on. So, now we can finally access this treasure chest up here. Yes, because now we can now we can access the door, we can also access the treasure chest therein. And reveal that there is a ghost inside of it. And he's going to summon the ghosts to, or rather, in this case, summon the skeletons to become active. So we're going to have to fight them. So let's go ahead and take out three skeletons. Mm. Get ready to make some skeletons fall back to the ground. At least, at least I won't have to worry about the will-o'-wisps. And... Hmm... I, I'm... I, I don't know. I, I'm thinking going Dragoon, but I'm not necessarily thinking that's a good idea at the same time. I guess it'll depend on how much ro damage Rose can cause if she can get a complete more and more off. Which is not what happened. And so they're just gonna throw their bones in frustration at me. It's a good thing I'm figured out the situation with the counterattacks, so therefore I'm able to adapt to the situation. There we go. Yeah, 250 points. Nice. If things worked out a little better, maybe that could have been a one hit, one move kill. Uh, only 71 for Rose. Yeah, I was right about not using... Rose's Dragoon ability. Yeah, yeah, we know you're throwing your bones. Alright. Oops. Crap. Getting the itchy trigger finger again. Albert, I'm gonna have you go up to this one. Yeah, cuz... It was the right decision. Cuz now Rose can go after this one, and... Hopefully we can put it away. Well, it'll help if I can actually complete the attack. And naturally... Come on, Dart, finish it off. Perfect crush dance, and that gets the kill. Alright. That's the first set of skeletons down. So, cause yeah, it's, up to this point it's been Will-O-Wisps along with some other enemy. So, we'll now move on. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they're gonna crumble, but they're not gonna get revived. That was close. So now, following the video review, I know that for a fact I have to go to the adjacent room. If I can get in there. <laughs> Yeah, now there's going to be a treasure chest over here. And it's going to contain the same thing. And the same thing is going to occur. Revival of skeletons. This time, the ghost is actually going to pick a fight with us. So don't worry, I've only limited myself, as far as video is, con view is concerned, is where to go next. Because, yeah, mo most of the what I saw in the particular video was just fighting. And not much else. Alright, so let's start seeing if we can take out the skeletons. And gone in one turn, which is awesome. And 90 against Rose. 
And more bone throwing. And it missed, thankfully. Alright, I know Rose cannot cause much damage against the skeleton. What about the Magician Bogey? How will she do? Well, we got the successful more and more, but still not scoring all that high. I I'm guessing because of her, her attack is dark based. And a wall place crush dance. Not enough to kill it though. Which means it's gonna cause more damage again. No, it's just gonna recover. Jerk. Well, we're gonna have Rose continue to focus on the bogey. Eh, a little too late on the draw there. Howard, go. And put it away. There we go. Alright, now it's Dart's turn, hopefully. Alright, so 63 against Albert. Yeah, it is Dart's turn now. Ah, couldn't quite get it. Well, at least I got it when it mattered the most and I didn't get counterattacked. But still, a 69 point penalty is something you don't want to be taking. Put it away. Nope, still standing. In fact, it is very much still standing. Ooh, 312. Beautiful. Now, I think I may want to have Rose change up her strategy here. Or maybe not. Oh, they changed it up on me. Well, I got the kill. That's what matters. But yeah, I've been so used to seeing the counterattack occurring in the first edition that I was not expecting it to come in edition number two. Well, we did get Albert up to experience level 20. Yeah, and as you noticed, Dark got up to level 21 off camera. Alright. Now that we got that out of the way. The ghost crumble. And it ran away. Alright, so... Now I'm trying to remember where we go next. Is it over here? Okay, this way. Because I can't remember which way we were supposed to go next. Uh, oh yeah, it was this over, over here. Because, yeah, there's supposed to be... Yep, there's the other treasure chest. Yeah, because it's going to start bouncing around. <coughs> Is it trying to say something? Yeah, I don't, I don't know why it would. I mean, it's a ghost. With a really scary personality. So yeah, now we get the triple threat. We got the triple threat of magician bogeys. So let's throw down. Time to see if we can get rid of these ghostly apparitions. So three on three against the trio of magician bogeys. And so... Yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling like... I don't want to take any chances, so since everyone's at, like, Dragoon, Max Dragoon, or almost, I'm gonna go ahead and see, um, what happens with Dart's new Dragoon ability. Because he has a new one. And I want to be able to use it. Because I can always go back to the, um, Queen Fury to get recovered if I need to. Against this battle, I feel like I need to just go and get this done. Alright, so let's go ahead and show off Final Burst. Oh, it's against a single opponent. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to use it. I'd rather use Explosion. Because that's a group attack. So let's go ahead and make things explode. And drive your sword into the ground there, Dart. Yeah, let's go ahead and burn these ghosts. And they're creepy ectoplasmic entities. See if we can damage these guys as much as possible. Because that would be nice. What are we scoring? Oh, that's not impressive. That's not impressive damage. And of course I'm locked in until the it's done. 
All right, Rose, go. It was too soon. Yeah, I'm suddenly regretting the decision to go Dragoon here. Because, yeah, I get... I, because they are magicians, I fear that they are strong against any magic. All right. Three thirty-eight. That's a good, very good score. And here comes again. What? What the heck did he do? Well, whatever he did, it looked like he was going to try a status affliction, but it failed. Okay. Well, let's let's just have um. Might as well just keep going with explosion. I mean, if we're going to get all group damage, we might as well use it. Yeah, I know, I know it's probably like a wasteful use of this, but since I can't come out of Dragoon ability until I've burned all my SP or I'm dead, I might as well just go full throttle. So let's go ahead and just damage everything and everyone. So that's 111 against the field. And Rose continues to recover. Okay, suddenly I'm getting an itchy trigger finger again. That's gonna come back to haunt me if this keeps up. 61, 61. And what about you, number three? And you're gonna actually use the magic. But it doesn't work. And they're still attacking. That's not good. Alright, Albert, put it away. Put it away, yes. Alright, on Dart's next turn, I'm just gonna have him have, use a regular Dragoon attack. See if that does any better in terms of damage. Well, that's not gonna help if I can't get more than three. But still, 263 is a good score. And so, Dart, come out of Dragoon mode, please. Thank you. And so now, what are we gonna, they gonna do? Well, more importantly, the question is what I'm gonna do. And yeah, I'm gonna use my healing breeze because I need to. I need to really badly. I need to keep my HP up against these freaks of nature. Because who knows what other tricks they have up their sleeve? Oh, uh, like that. Yeah, I believe that is where Mind Purifier is going to be needed. Yeah, it's a similar situation to Confusion. Well, I'm glad for this, so... Yeah, she is... Bewitched, yeah. Good thing I have these. Alright, Albert, go. Oops, jumped the gun. That's not good when you jump the gun. And how much is this gonna hurt? Well, it's gonna knock Dart on his back. It's gonna put Dart out for a while. So, Rose, can you finish it off? Finish it off. Yes! Good, good. And so the damage keeps coming. Albert, go. 338. That's what I like to see. Things still going after oh, and out the it's gonna be against Albert now. Well, good thing I have these. I'm purifier over to Albert, and he's back in the fight. Oh, again, really? Well, I am now stuck in a situation I don't want to be in. You know what? I'm gonna have. I'm gonna see if I can finish this off right now. It was the right decision. Well done, Matt. Well done. That was really intelligent thinking on your part. And because of that, Rose is almost close to gaining level 21 too. So now that we've dealt with the chests, it's time to move on. 
And so now, Wallowisp comes out of the chest. I have a favor to ask you. Please come to the captain's cabin. I believe we can accommodate you. We're gonna need to. We're never gonna make it out of here alive. So, with the evil ghost now dealt with, I'm gonna move on, hopefully avoid disaster. Unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. Okay, try making out here one piece. Okay, got out of there, good. Alright, so, yeah, I'm gonna want to go back now to the... Back to our ship, back to the Queen Fury, to get healed. After that crazy bit of ordeal that just happened. So, back across, please. And we're gonna go ahead and take the rest. Rest, please. So that I can recover myself. Alright, and then I want to go ahead and save. Yeah, so we've taken care of that particular part of the journey here at the um, ghost ship. So, with that taken care of, we'll save the game and we'll proceed to move on to... Well, who knows what's going to happen in the next episode, because, yeah, it's getting pretty crazy right now, and hopefully we can continue to find our way along this without necessarily requiring the use of a video review, but of course... Should it come down to that, that's exactly what we're going to deal with. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this blind let's play of The Legend of Dragoon. And when I join you again, we will go back to the Phantom Ship and go speak with the Ghost Captain to see what information he be, may be able to give us in order to get us ourselves to safety. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew and Novoral Autism saying take care, and I'll see you soon.